What is up you guys, you're watching Sergio's Secrets. Before I get started with today's fun and exciting video, because I've been doing a lot of research, if you can please give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe button, it really, really helps out the channel. So I post a lot of great sell links, so if you're ever interested in knowing where the best deals are, like the YSL sale, there's a Burberry outlet going on, a Balenciaga sale, some great sell links, always check the description box. And other than that, let's get started with today's video. So today's video is definitely a lot more different than what I've been posting. Usually I post a lot more vlogs and like showing you like handbags and what I buy. I also like to post more informative videos and just anything about kind of the fashion community. And today we're going to be talking about Mario Valentino and Valentino Garvi Garvini. I believe that's how you say it. So we're going to be talking about both of them, the customer confusion, the lawsuit, comparing them. Are they the same? Are there a diffusion line? We're going to be answering all those questions today. And and ultimately why I don't really care for Mario Valentino as a brand. It's my opinions. If I take any information, I will leave link all the resources down below because I did see some articles and I want to give them credit. So if you also want to read further into what I'm kind of talking about or discussing on today's video, um, always check the description box to see the direct links for the articles because I do want to give them credit because somebody did take time out of their day to write that. So, so always check the description box for it. I want to be answering some questions and then we're just going to kind of go from there so one of the main questions i get asked about mario valentino and valentino are the same that is probably the same question i have gotten this question dm'd maybe once a week where i get asked sergio oh my god i saw this bag on north Rack. i saw this bag at uh, last call by neiman marcus i saw this bag at you know a discount store is this the same as um valentino garbini and i told them unfortunately it is not they asked this question a lot and they asked me why is it not the same is it fake is it a replica like i always get asked you know many many questions about the brand and for me um Val valentino garvini has no association with mario valentino there are two completely different brands yeah, there they are definitely not the same and mario valentino is not a replica of valentino bags but there is a customer confusion which i do want to discuss in today's video if you don't know mario valentino i believe in like 2013 um the Mario Valentino sold its rights to a company to kind of sell handbags in the US market and I believe in Canada as well. So that's when around I started seeing Mario Valentino. Um, I read some articles saying that it was actually sold at full line department stores to begin with. Like I was reading some purse forums and they said that um, Neiman Marcus would carry a small selection of it. And I also know that Dillard's carried Mario Valentino at one point. Um, I try to see if they kind of carry them. They don't anymore but where I mostly see Mario Valentino is a lot of discount stores so they launched in 2013 they, I feel like they tried to push it towards a full price market and I feel like that didn't work out for them so they moved into an off price market so nowadays when you go into Nordstrom Rack when you go into Last Call by Neiman Marcus, Saks Off Fifth, um, Discount Store, Century 21 you see those bags at discount stores so they have no full price presence for me the way I see it is um, let's say like Coach Coach has a full price store and then an off price store and then they wholesale. So wholesale, they sell to department stores, they sell to specialty stores. Their full price business is what have in their full stores. And you know, they sell current styles, um, current models and that are full price styles. And then the outlet or the off price has stuff made for the outlet and it has stuff that didn't sell at the full price Coach stores transferred into the outlet. So they have kind of three kind of divisions. And for me, what I've seen um, my Valentino has no full price presence so for me whenever they kind of do a comparable value I don't really take it take it to heart because at the end of the day they don't they don't have a full price presence. You try to look on Mario Valentino the websites and everything, they literally have no full price presence available anywhere. So whenever, like I said, whenever um you try to say a comparable value, I don't think it's at whatever your pricing is at, is that's what the bag is worth. The bag is worth the way I see it. Versus, you know, Coach has the tabby bag, right? You see the tabby bag, it's about $350, but then you go to the coach outlet and there's like the jade version, um, and it's very, very similar you know usually off prices have a very similar style pair because it looks like the tabby bag but it's just a little bit different for an off price customer or Kate Spade has the Margot bag which is this one right here and then they have the off price version of the 
Margot here. So I don't know if you guys can see what I'm saying. Like they kind of have, you know, a full price version, off price version. And I have seen like Margos from Kate Spade that, you know, don't sell. They're seasonals and they get transferred to the outlet. But Mario Valentino has no full price presence. So for me, when people ask me, am I getting a great deal on it? Oh my God, it's such a good price. Um, I say you're paying what the bag is worth. Um, you're not getting a deal on it because they have no full price presence at all. So every time I see brands, discount stores all the time, I see it as that price. I don't know if that kind of makes sense. And I know that sounds, that may be a little bit harsh to say, but I'm being honest and I like to watch for all you guys, how you guys spend your money because at the end of the day, we all work very, very hard for everything that we kind of love to buy, love to purchase, especially here in the accessories category. Another issue that I have with Mario Valentino handbags is that they, they, they copy a lot of designer styles. So they have like a Celine version, a Givenchy version, um, you know, they have all these different versions of, you know, a lot of these kind of, I wouldn't say replica because that's not the word, I wouldn't say dupe, but I would say kind of like the look of it, um, and I feel like it's no creativity, you're just basically the right to sell that and under in the US, just decided to, you know, maybe tr maybe they started at the full price, it didn't work out, and now they're exclusively in off-price stores, and they tried to basically just kind of do kind of, of the higher end bags and you know i'm not gonna sit here and lie like even designers and contemporary they you know they take inspiration from each other they look at the trend forecast and you know they kind of take you know inspiration you know there are some bags like there is a Givenchy chintagona but michael kors has a version of it but it looks very distinctively and it has a storytelling to it versus a uh, mario valentino it has no storytelling they they literally have don't even have an instagram account they're not really on social media so they don't really have like a presence there so like i said every time a brand kind of had, does that I take it very very lightly and I don't really kind of consider it like a kind of a bag that's in 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 there but a lot of copy bags even if like the regular Valentino Garvini itself yeah so so you can tell that it's a distinctively you know it's two things if it looks differently like I said like that Michael Kors bag and then the Givenchy Antigona yes they're very similar but it's not a uh, blatant you know copy of it there's still a little bit of characteristics with them I was reading an article that whenever Mario Valentino launched in the States and this is a statement that I'm going to read word by word and listen carefully to what they say and everything that I'm that I've talked about prior kind of makes sense in how they kind of go about their business a new generation of Valentino bags is now available for a broader range of luxury shoppers who can appreciate the finest quality in craftsmanships and a faster rotation of style license in the US. So did you read that guys? A faster rotation, broader range of luxury shoppers, a new generation of Valentino. So if you didn't know, Bill Valentino was kind of like a brand back in the day that actually did make really nice ready to wear, did make really nice bags. Like I've looked at vintage bags from the actual Mario Valentino, not this new generation of this Valentino stuff that's out. But the, the stuff was actually pretty great and it's pretty well. But you know, if people don't upkeep, you know, if people, you know, if you sell your brand or if you don't upkeep it or if you don't, you know, you don't push it to become, you know, an international brand or even a brand known in your country, um, you kind of lose it and you kind of lose the value of it. So I feel like that's what kind of happened with Mario Valentino, but you listen to that, a new generation of Valentino back. For me, that kind of creates customer confusion through me. A new generation, what does that mean? A uh, diffusion line of Valentino? Does that mean that it's a different version of it? Like, you see where I'm coming from? Like, though, if you read between the lines, what I'm saying, guys, if you read between the lines, it's trying to make it seem like it's kind of customer confusion. And like I said, people always ask me all the time, is Mario Valentino and Valentino Garbini the same? And I always say no. And if you watch videos on the few videos on Mario Valentino that are on this platform, you can see the same customer confusion. So I'll enter some clips right now and like I said I'll give credits to the video that I'm taking from a bag from Valentino but I didn't know that there was two completely different Valentino brands for example like Saint Laurent some of the bags have YSL logo on it and then um, other bags will just say like Saint Laurent on it thought I was getting but I was wrong there's there are two completely different designers so there's Valentino Garavani, which I feel like everybody, that's like the rock star studded like that. Well, that's like the more well-known brand, but there's another Valentino brand 
called Mario by Valentino and that's the bag that I got today but so now that you saw that you can kind of see where I'm coming from you know like even the statement and kind of falsifying and for me it's creating a narrative that they are associated with Valentino Garbini. Yes, they were around first, but they were never really have a US presence. And now that I'm presenting everything, you know, you can kind of see where the customer confusion can be there. If you don't know a lot about handbags or you're just getting into the handbags, or even if you do know about handbags, you can still get confused. For me, I know the moment that these bags started launching a couple years back, I already knew that it wasn't the real deal just because I could tell and I did research back in the day. But this is something that I get asked all the time. So I feel like it was a really nice discussion to talk about on my YouTube channel and I've never seen a video like this on the platform. So I feel like there'd be something a little bit different. Another question that I got asked um, as well, why can't they just Valentino Garbini trademark Valentino here in the States? Well, you can't really do that. Remember when Kylie Jenner was trying to trademark Kylie? Was named Kylie, that's their name. Or you can't really trademark a name. Like, you can't. I can't trademark Sergio, you know what I mean? You can't really trademark, like, Sebastian. You can't trademark Jacob because those are names that people have. So, you know, when it comes to certain brands like that, you can't trademark it. Or, like, Supreme, that's a perfect example. You can't trademark Supreme because it is a common word that people use on a day-to-day -day basis here in the States. I feel like it, it once was a full range of clothing, a full range of bags, a full range of everything, and it was actually a very, very decent line of items. But, you know, like I said, if a brand doesn't do well, if you don't keep it up, you kind of lose kind of everything of that brand. Valentino and Valentino Garbini, they actually have like a 40-year contract where they can kind of go throughout their handbags and, you know, I'm going to show you just a handbag just to show it. I like to pull out one of their handbags and show it. So let's say like this is a Valentino bag from Mario Valentino. So they were, they had a contract of how they can kind of, how they can name their brands, how they can go around with, you know, putting, you know, Mario Valentino. You can't put like the V, like they, that's why they kind of a little of agreement that you kind of there's a certain way to plaque all your items and i believe on inside of all the bags it had the same mario valentino versus valentino and they had an agreement agreement was going very very strong but mario valentino kind of broke that contract and they took it to court in italy and they ultimately ended up siding with valentino garbini as it was you know the contract was breached and mario valentino kind of wanted to bring that case back into court so the last article that i could find was in late 2019 so i don't late 2019 so i don't know the full status of it now but they did appeal valentino garbini was also going to take action here in the states um in california kind of the same things how they kind of broke the contract how it creates customer confusion and like i said it does create customer confusion and i don't remember i think i remember valentino back in the day i think all of their items just said valentino in it and even like on nordstrom and even marcus and sack Fifth avenue it would just straight up say valentino when you were going on their website when you were looking at their items they all said Valentino, like Shop Valentino's new arrival, new Valentino rock studs. But now on a lot of their packaging and a lot of everything, and now it says Valentino Garbini. So I'll go ahead and show you a shoe box that I have from Valentino so you know what I mean. These are the shoe boxes that I have from some shoes that I have from Valentino Garbini. But I remember back in the day, it was just like that. Like it was just Valentino. Like I said, when you were on the websites and everything, you know, you can just press Valentino on it and you would know what it is. But I feel like because of this huge um, customer confusion, Fusion starting in 2013, I feel like they had it, they needed to kind of, you know, put Valentino Garbini, so it sets them apart and people don't think it's the same thing. I don't know how I feel about that, guys. For me, like I said, I think that Valentino Garbini and Valentino Mario are two different things. They're two different customers, two different things. But if you do see a Mario Valentino bag, because I do get asked, is it worth the money? Honestly, for honest to God, guys, I would say no. I think you should hold off. I don't think these bags have any actual value in them. I don't think that it's a bag to purchase. I think there's other mini bags that you can buy. Um, just because, like I said, when I read the statements, when I, when I kind of look at the brand, I can see what they're trying to do. They're trying to create customer confusion. Like I said, people ask me this all the time, or I have a Valentino bag, and people say, oh no, it's like the Valentino with the rocks, or, you know what I mean, because that's what they're known for. Oh no, it's like the Valentino bag and see what they're trying to do and I don't really like that and that's not something I'm going to be supporting you know it's okay if you do a dupe of a bag um, but when you try to create customer confusion and you're trying to perceive as something that you're not 
honest where I draw the line and that's where I draw the issue and I don't think morally I don't think that's something I could ever get down with this is a brand that I would never purchase from or ever kind of show on my channel I may like if I'm vlogging be like oh my god look at this bag that's Mario Valentino but I would genuinely never kind of promote it on my channel I would never kind of show it on my channel because I just don't like the way they go about you know blatantly blatantly copying a lot of designer handbags and also creating kind of that customer confusion i just don't really like that i think like i said i was doing some research and mario valentino was actually they they made really great items and i wish that's what they would have brought back instead of creating these kind of false narratives and kind of the kind of off price bags because like i said morally i don't think that's correct though i may not be the biggest fan of valentino in general i do have like i said two items i have two pairs of shoes I like them, my collection, they work for me, and I don't have a handbag or any other items from, uh, you know, Valentino Garvini, but um, I feel like they do have the right to protect themselves to, you know, from people trying to create customer confusion from their actual brand, that they work hard to build a present here in the States, and, you know, yes, Mario Valentino has every right to use their name, the way they go about situations, the way they market their bags, the way they try to do blatant knockoffs, and, you know, the way, like, the brand was revamped in 2013, I don't really like how they're strategizing how they're going about things so it'll be really interesting to see where this brand will be in the next five years as far as mario valentino will it still have an off-price presence um for me i feel like whenever they're in off-price stores um it's mostly like an off-price customer so they may not necessarily know the difference i know the difference between valentino garbini and mario valentino they may think it's the exact same thing so i will never like get upon that i will never support something like that and for me for me the way i see it valentino garbini has every right to you know protect their brand and not to create customer confusion so um kudos for them and yeah we're just gonna end the video right here i just wanted to talk about the brand mario valentino valentino garbini just because i get do get asked this question quite a bit and when people tell me oh my god is this like a valentino bag did i get a really great deal I had to break it down to them and I have to let them know that, you know, they're two different things. They have no storytelling, no full price presence. Like, I just kind of have to let them know all these facts, what I said in this video. So it's really nice for me to make this video. So if somebody does ask me again, I could just be like, hi, hun, thank you so much for sending me this nice question. Um, here's a link to the video where I discuss this. Um, hopefully you can give it a watch and give me your opinions and I hope you have a good rest of your day. That's something that I can say to them. It's easy. I don't, just, I don't have to explain myself every single time. I can just make this nice video and just show it to them them if I ever do guess I would love to hear your thoughts and your opinions about these two um what thing do you think that they're similar can you see where there's customer confusion and this is kind of my first a few videos that I want to do more chit chat more talking about brands and style and everything that's not necessarily like I said shopping or showing you things I do want to make more like analytical more kind of behind the scenes on a lot of these items I'm going to be doing one for Marc Jacobs you know how it was Marc by Marc Jacobs Marc Jacobs the Marc Jacobs why they keep rebranding and everything so you'll be seeing a video on that that and I'll be doing a full Marc Jacobs handbag video as well because apparently that's a brand that you guys have been wanting to see I've been loving my snapchat right here so um you'll be seeing some Marc, Marc Jacobs videos very very soon on my channel what else you want to see on this channel do you want me to report on certain things like you know if you follow diet Prada you see what happened with Reformation you saw what happened with Zimmerman so let me know if that's stuff that you want me to talk about and mention on my channel because I feel like I do love shopping I do like vlogging but I also want to provide more different content than your, than your typical what's in my bag you know shop with me unboxing so i want to go more analytical and more in a deeper concept i would love to hear your thoughts and your opinions down below thank you so much for watching my video i really really appreciate each and every single one of you if you want to see any video requests definitely leave them down below i'll be posting every single day in the month of july so please subscribe so i can so you can come back here tomorrow and watch any one of my other videos and i'll be leaving some great sell links down below along articles in the videos that i put in this video as well thank you thank you so much for me videos y los Hasta la próxima. Bye, guys, and take care.